I often get asked questions about the equipment I use. So today we're gonna try something new and this will be the first video in a series where I tell you a bit about my gear, how and where to collect samples, basic microscopy techniques and so on. And we're of course gonna start with the microscope. The microscope I use is a BA310 from Motic. This one is the trinocular version, which means that it has two eyepieces as well as a third port to mount a camera. As new, this one costs about 1400 euros or 1700 American dollars. This one is the e Oilita version, which means that it comes with slightly better optics as well as the ability to switch between halogen and LED illumination. But I almost always use the LED module because I prefer the bluish light over the yellow tones from a halogen bulb. This microscope is actually quite popular and used by many talented people to create high quality images and video for both YouTube, Instagram and other social media. And it's also used in professional labs all around in the world. And I know that the YouTube channel Journey to the Microcosmos made a lot of their first episodes entirely with a BA310 microscope. This model comes with a 4, 10, 40 and 100x objective as well as two 10x eyepieces giving a total magnification of 40 to 1000 times. This microscope can hold up to 5 objectives and I have personally added a 20x objective to mine as well as replaced the 100x objective with a 60x objective as I have way more use of that. This range of magnification allows me to observe anything from small insects to individual cells and bacteria. A lot of people think that a higher magnification is always better, but I very rarely go above a total magnification of 400. You are able to see a lot of different microorganisms with the 4, 10 and 20x objective. And each increase in magnification only makes it harder to track your specimen and makes it more and more difficult to produce a nice and sharp image. Underneath the microscope stage is a condenser equipped with a filter slot. This allows me to do dark field microscopy and oblique illumination. And with the addition of polarizing filters, I'm also able to use polarized light to illuminate my specimens. All of these does not come standard with the microscope and needs to be added separately. And I will of course explain all of these techniques in a lot more detail in future videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more. If you want to have a closer look at the items from this video, you can find links in the description. And if you have any questions or ideas for future episodes, please leave a comment below. I'll see you next time. And I know that... It, and I know that the you... And I know that the... And I know that the allowing me to do both dark field or big illumination and with the if you in <laughs>